Well, Hurricane Joaquin is turning in the Atlantic and quickly gaining strength. It's now a Category 3 storm and is expected to grow into a Category 4 storm later tonight. Right now, Joaquin is bearing down on the Bahamas, and Virginia's governor has already issued a state of emergency in preparation for when the storm heads toward the U.S. We're joined now by the director of the National Hurricane Center, Dr. Rick Nabb, in Miami. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Nabb. First of all, tell us about Joaquin's expected route. When could would it make landfall in the U.S.? It would probably be this weekend if it does occur at all. Uh, it's still sitting down in the central Bahamas and it's going to be into tomorrow before it starts to make a move toward the north or northeast. The models still don't agree on which direction it ultimately takes relative to the U.S. east coast. But it's still possible that we would have to issue a hurricane watch for some portion of the U.S. East Coast as early as tonight, and that would signal about two days notice before the onset of the hurricane itself. So there's still time for folks to be preparing, and there's still time for things to change. I would not be shocked if the models continue to bounce around quite a bit, and we're going to continue to send out the NOAA G4 jet to provide data for the models in the environment, and we just don't know for sure if it is ever going to come ashore in the U.S., but if it does, uh, this weekend would be the time frame. You know, Dr. Nab, you can't talk about a storm hitting the East Coast without remembering Superstorm Sandy, which hit the East Coast really hard in 2012. Is it a fair comparison, Joaquin and Sandy? Uh, there are some aspects of some of the scenarios the models are painting uh, that you could uh, say are comparable to Sandy, but there are other situations that we've seen that are comparable to uh, some of the other model forecasts that are taking it offshore. So th there's no guarantee that this is going to take the Sandy-like path and turn into the U.S. East Coast. There are a lot of different possible scenarios here, and I would encourage folks to focus on what this particular storm might do because whatever you experienced in a past hurricane or storm, it could be completely completely different this time, especially given the fact that between now and the weekend, there's a potential for some very heavy rains and localized flooding already, not directly associated with Joaquin, in parts of the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. All right, Dr. Rick Nabbs, Director of the National Hurricane Center, thank you very much. Thank you.